going ladies and gentlemen it is may 26th the day before memorial day it's sunday around 5 p.m i just got done work i'm going to be heading up to uh pine cone resort go stay at a campsite go hang out for a little bit up north and uh tomorrow i'll be fishing manasquan reservoir so i figured i'd shoot a little intro today and i got a little dash cam set up and i'm gonna do a little bit of traveling and once we get there i'll Give you a little look around, show you what you're working with. Uh, probably rig up a few poles, a few baits, and then uh, cook some dinner and relax for the night. Get out there early tomorrow. It's gonna be a busy long day tomorrow. I'm hoping to catch some bedded fish um, or any fish. I'm gonna take my mom fishing. Uh, I doubt she's caught a fish in a long time, so hopefully I can get her on some bass. And uh, you know, hopefully it's just an overall good time. So I'm gonna head out now and I'll uh, see you guys at the campsite. Peace. here at the campsite. I'm waiting for my mom. She's uh, taking forever. Typical type mom stuff, you know. The older you get, the longer it takes you to get ready in the morning. We're a little behind schedule. It's 7.47 a.m. We both didn't get much sleep last night. It was a little tough. <clears throat> but it's looking nice out. It's going to be like 70 something. It's already 69 right now. It's going to be it's high 80s today actually around the afternoon which we'll probably come home during the peak of that sun and uh, eat some lunch and stuff and then maybe go back out later tonight after the temperature starts to descend a little bit depends on how the fishing is this morning but hopefully uh, she can finish up here soon we'll go to Dunkin Donuts probably get some food a little breakfast in us and then uh, we'll hit the trails I like walking around the trail. It's just a really nice area. Beautiful place out here. Hopefully she hurries up soon so we can get to fishing. I got a camera set up on the front of the car. We'll see if I can capture any good traveling footage. Never really done anything like that before so we'll see if we can get that and then I'm try to learn how to add some music in and stuff if anybody knows any easy programs to use or free ones currently using hit films express just because it was free but you know go ahead and leave a comment down below of what kind of stuff that you like to use for editing films videos audio any of that good stuff and also if you know anything about the copyright laws that has to do with the music I'm not too familiar on all that stuff that's why I really haven't used music much I'd have to look into all that first but I'm gonna go see what the heck she's doing cuz I'm trying to go fish so I will see you guys probably at Dunkin Donuts <laughs> Coffee, donut, something. Give me some sugar.
arrived at Manasquan Reservoir. Going for a little walk down this trail, checking out a fishing spot that we saw actually on the way in that I've never seen before. So we're gonna hit that first and then we'll come back and try the rocks if nothing happens here. And once we get up there, I'm not sure what we're gonna throw yet because I haven't seen the conditions. So once we get up there, we'll figure that part out. But this place is filled with big bass and there's a bunch of rocks here and uh, a lot of timber we saw, a bunch of structure set up. So I got two cameras on, shooting an intro with this cross tour. Let's see how it turns out. I figured I'd give it another chance. Uh, I got a selfie stick for it and a, uh, it's actually sunny out. So maybe it'll be better quality, we'll see. But mom's slowing down, so I'm going to turn this off and catch up with her, or slow down for her, and I'll see you over at those rocks. <coughs> we got a long hike. Mom's not going to make it. <laughs> She's already complaining. Look at this little bass. Take this home and put it in the fish tank. on the rooster tail. Four inch bass. Fits in the palm of my hand. Manasquan was a bust. It's too sunny out here. We're heading to uh, Turkey Swamp. There's more shade. Lily pads. All that good stuff. Are you going to make the walk back? Oh, stop it. You have me like an invalid in the back. <laughs> I almost regret bringing this because I didn't even open it. Thing weighs 400 pounds. Yeah, and you had you wore me out first, first off. Why? You carry this bag. <laughs> mm. I didn't even think about how it's heavy it was. Want to be Are you off balance now? I caught that one little bass. That was it. Pretty bad. Turkey swamp 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 turkey swamp 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 turkey swamp Okay, disconnect. Alright, sketchy paddle boat, take one. Smallest bass ever. <laughs> yeah, but at least that one. Let's see, that bait works. Hey, they're all tucked up in them pads right now. A little squeaker, but 
first fish ever at Turkey Swamp. Any luck, guys? Sunny, that's it. Yeah. How about you guys? Oh, we just got on. That was the first couple casts. I got that little bass. Nice. <laughs> oh, that big one just broke out there oh, on the I pads. Yeah. I told you back Come on, here. pedal faster. <laughs> I told you back here. Pedal bro. faster. Oh, lizards. I forgot I had the lizards. Oh. What? See? I was just letting it soak. I was taking a drink of water. It was just sitting there. I wasn't even paying attention. Wow. Everything feels big on this rod. Another little fish on the fluke. I was just thinking about switching to a lizard, but. He's a little bit. Oh, he's got. What's he got in his mouth? Oh, it's a My bait. Head. Yeah, he's about a pound. A little pontoon fishing out of Turk Swamp. I like in the fluke out here. I like catching them on this rod though, everything feels huge. Mmm, they smell good out in Turkey Swamp. <laughs> yeah. They're extra stinky out here. <laughs> Definitely a hundred ticks on us now. I'm gonna head first into a tree. Yeah, at least we're not walking with ticks out here. Fish just jumped right where we were. Oh, I got one. <laughs> they all feel like they're gonna break this little rod. And they're like the tiniest fish ever. Snow, little guy. Bye bye. <laughs> I haven't had to use pliers in forever. Real, real, real. Keep the rod tip pointed up. Nice. Heck yeah. That's a bass. Oh, it's crappy. Like a nice one. <gasps> oh my god. Lift him up. He's heavy. Oh, yay. Oh, come here. Oh. oh. No. I couldn't get a picture of it. That was the biggest crappy. Yeah, that was nice. Wow, he caught him on a fluke. Oh my god. Oh, he was big. Somebody is going to pop it to me. Oh, I'm going to hit right in there. Oh, he let it go. What? He let it go. Oh, there he is. Four. Four. Oh, man. Number four. Number four. Yeah, they smell nice. Oh, 
tiny in here though. How was it? It was great. Yeah. Thank you. Oops. I'll break the rod. And what was the last thing? Uh, what did I put it under a can? A can. I think I'm gonna owe you like five bucks. For something, something, something. I'd go for another hour. Yeah. So, yeah. With the uh, deposit me, plus. Yeah, give me five, Do you have that 50 cents you gave me earlier? Yeah. Thank you. All good? Uh, yeah, should be. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Ready, Freddy? Mm -hmm. Now we can make burgers? Yeah. It comes out on me, like... The sunburn? Later. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, you keep... Is that on? <laughs> <laughs> We're shooting an outro. So... Mom and I just got done fishing at Turkey Swamp. We uh, figured out that the boats were up for rental, so we hopped on the boat, and it was pretty neat. We caught, uh, what did I catch? Four fish, four bass. Mom caught a crappie. She lost it the right at the boat, though. The biggest fish. Oh, the biggest the fish biggest. of the day. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we caught them all on flukes. You know, something simple, real shallow lake. Uh, she learned how to skip. Mom was out there skipping baits. I must have learned it from her. She knew she had it in there the whole time and <laughs> never even done it before. So it was a really fun day though. I definitely want to come back here and do that again. Um, maybe we'll give a, the fish a little bit of time to grow bigger though because it seemed like the only thing that wanted to bite today was super tiny little squeak, squeakzilla bass. But overall, super fun day. Um, we might actually go out to Manasquan tonight, right at sundown. We found a secret spot that could possibly be super, super, super delicious right at the sunset. So hopefully I'll see you then. And if not, then thank you as always for tuning in. Uh, don't forget that like, share, and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Doesn't get any better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Chili, cheese dog, purple onion, with some ketchup and mustard. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, we're back after our nap. This is like round three or four or five, waiting in the car for mom. I don't know how many times we do this on a daily basis. But hopefully she'll be quicker this time. I've learned that if you just leave her and get in the car, that she takes less time to get to you than if you chase her around and try to yell at her to get in the car. So I'm learning. We're learning new strategies. But either way, we're heading to uh, Manasquan. It is 6.43. Hopefully she gets done soon so we have more time to fish. We saw a couple awesome spots when we were driving around that looked like they'd be pretty good from the bank. The park was a little overloaded with people earlier, so hopefully it'll be cleared out by now. I guess we'll see what happens. But mom's coming out now. And uh, it's a couple minute drive. It's not too far down the road. We'll get there by 7 and I'll set up hopefully give us maybe like an hour and a half close to two hours to fish depending on how the sunlight comes over the trees I'm not sure how dark it gets out here how quickly so we'll find out I'll see you at Manasquan Boo! Oh, we got nailed right there on the bank. First cast with the rooster tail. Ah! Later. There's something else. 
Yeah, another pickerel. This is the the pickerel bait right here. Oh, he cut my thing off. Sharp ass teeth. Damn, I don't have any other spinners. Oh, Jesus. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, that's a wiggly rock. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap it up here. I caught two little pickerel. Uh, they all escaped, actually. So I didn't really technically catch anything, but mom did not fall on the rocks, but she also did not catch a fish. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to stay another night and we're gonna come back out in the morning. And if she doesn't catch a fish, that's on her. It's too bad, because I'm gonna have to go home at that point. Thank you for watching and we'll tune in tomorrow for another episode. Peace. Hey, you want to film me? What are we doing? All right, so we took a little Walmart trip earlier, and of course, we had to pick up a couple baits that we can use. Got a little box to put everything in. We got a bunch of uh, beef jerky. They had a 10 ounce bag for 10 bucks. Pretty good price, bridge for some sweet baby rays on it. And then we got a bunch of stuff. Black rooster tail. Yellow rooster tail. I got a couple of each color. Just in case we lose them. Out on the rocks. Bunch a bunch of rooster tails. And then I got this little tiny square bill. Look at it. It's so small. One eighth ounce. Real little. Put that on the spinning rod and drag it across the rocks. That's perfect. Oh, I got two of those. Two different colors. So if I catch something on that, I can give one to mom. Yeah, mama. And then I got a couple little flies. I might tie on if things get extra spicy to where we can't catch anything at all and then i bought three different strike king spinner baits that we can try out there also all finesse micro fishing this week and finally found some cast master spoons i've actually been looking for these everywhere for a long time and this exact pack is perfect do without the stupid blue one but these are amazing this will catch you pretty much anything in the lake so i'm gonna get all this stuff uh thrown into this tackle box here and that way we're ready for tomorrow morning and then i think we're gonna get some sleep and that way we can try to go catch some fish we might go mini golfing also that'll be super super duper fun so as always thanks for tuning in don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button tell all your friends and i'll see you on the next one What day is it, Ma? Which I forgot, I can't even think yet. <laughs> I don't know what day it is either. What day is it? My eyes just don't want to see today. Good morning. It is day two of the camping extravaganza episode park. Um, we're having some breakfast. It's pouring rain this morning. I'm sure you can hear it. it looks like it might clear up in about an hour or two. So we're going to eat some breakfast, relax. I'm sure mom's a little sore from yesterday. How you feeling, Ma? <laughs> she just gave me this look. Jeffrey, I'm almost 55. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna, I just took a shower up at the visitor center up there and feeling a little refreshed 
thinking I might even stay another day. Hopefully we can go catch some fish today, and then we had a goal to go mini golfing. So if the rain holds up and the course isn't too wet and they allow us to hold metal poles outside, then we'll go do that. But this eggs and... What is this? Potatoes. It's looking mighty delicious, so I'm going to eat up. And then I'll see you in a little bit. Nice. I tell you what, food is like a thousand times better when you're camping and shit. Well, it's because I'm making it. What you're used to. Oh. <laughs> the way I do it. Because it's your food? Yeah. Made with love. Taste. does have that secret mom ingredient in it. Alrighty, tidy whities It is uh, day two here at the campground. We are getting ready to go out because it just stopped raining. We are still have a heavy overcast, but I think we're clear to rain for about two hours, probably. Got the box of goods. If mom cannot catch a fish with the baits in this box, then she can't fish ever again. That's the deal. That is the deal. So, it's going to probably take me another half hour to drag her out of the house. So, we might only get like an hour and a half fishing or so. But I'm going to do my best at trying to get her in the car. And you know the deal. Stay tuned. So, I'm gonna go on the rocks, but if you want to hang out here to be safe, you don't feel like rock climbing today. I see a good spot. The question is, is can I get to it without dying? You just got to believe in yourself. Just got to believe. American Ninja Warrior style. Oh yeah. Oh yes. This is exactly where we want to be. little baby square bill bouncing it. There's one. Oh, -ho! there we go, boy. Told you they're out here. This is why we're micro fishing. That way we can catch fish no matter what. Look at that little bass. Good baby boy. Second cast on the baby square bill. I got one. You got one? See, look at that. Yeah. First cast on the rooster tail. There you go. Grab him right in the mouth. Grab him right on his lip. As soon as you grab their lip, they shake their head, so squeeze tight when you grab. Well, they're, nah. I mean, yes, but they're not, like, real. They're, like, soft, little gritty ones. 
commit to it, he's going to shake. Yeah. Skin hooked him. Mom got her first bass on the rooster tail. One cast, right? And this is why I went and bought those baits. Because if you can't catch fish on what's in that little box, then there's no hope left. Mommy's catching fish. We got her rooster tail. Get him in the mouth. Commit to the pool. Commit. Put my finger in there. Your thumb. Turn him around. Grab your thumb like on his tongue. There you go. Like you're trying to check his throat. Squeeze him hard because they like to shake their head at you. The harder you squeeze them, the more submissive they become. Sometimes you got to push the hook down to bring it up. It's also easier if you open your bail and leave slack in your line because you're working with a tight line and a bent tip right now. There you go. Show him off. Woo! Give him a sniff. What's he smell like? Yeah! That's it. Now you're in it to win it. Might have to take her to get some big ones soon. I think she might be ready. I think she might be ready. Maybe one more. I was going to bring that top water plug and I didn't. I kind of want to go back and get it. But I also don't want to die. Alright, we just got American Ninja Warrior this shit. Oh, fuck you! <sighs> That's, that's an adrenaline rush. Woo! That gives you an adrenaline rush. Just American Ninja Warrior and up the rocks without stopping full commitment. I might have to run back and grab my topwater plug. I just watched a five pounder jump on the topwater and it's choppy. You watch my shit, I'm gonna make a run for it. Huh? You'll be all right in five minutes. Manasquan was tough. Mom did, however, though, catch her first two little bass. It was great. Caught them on the rooster tail. Um, I am uh, heading out for the week, so I'm going to be heading back home. I got a long drive ahead of me. Just wanted to pop in and let everybody know that we really appreciate you watching these videos. Had a great week with my mom, or a couple days, or day, I guess. What was it? A day or two? There's mom. But she doesn't, she doesn't like the camera. Monday. Monday, it's Tuesday, I'm heading home. Alright, either way, I'll see you guys back at 